we will now see how to install Audacity on your machine. If you already have Audacity installed, you can skip this lecture. I will install Audacity 3.5.1, the latest version, during the making of this lecture. However, if you have Audacity 3.3.3 and above, you can easily follow all the lectures in this course. To install Audacity go to this website audacityteam.org. Audacity runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you go to the download links, you will see all the supported OS for Audacity. You can choose your OS from here, and then you can download the setup file. The easiest option is to download from the home page, so I will download from the home page. There are two options, download only Audacity, or Audacity with some free effects and samples. If you are a beginner, I strongly recommend downloading only Audacity. I will click on the download Audacity button, and Audacity will detect my OS. I am using a Mac, and you can see the file for Mac OS. If you are using Windows or Linux, you will get a different file. The rest of the setup process will only work on a Mac. If you are using Windows or Linux, the installation process is as typical as using any other software. Choose a location to save the file, I will choose the downloads folder. The Audacity setup file is around 50 megabytes in size, and it will be downloaded shortly. Wait for the download to complete. After the download is complete, go to the location where you have downloaded the file. You can see my Audacity DMG file at the top. Double-click it, and this pop-up window will appear. Drag the Audacity icon to the Applications folder. I already had Audacity installed, so it is asking to replace. I will replace it, if you are installing Audacity for the first time, you will not see this message. The installation is complete, and I will open it from the spotlight. Search for Audacity, and the Audacity app will appear. Click on Audacity, and you will see a confirmation message. Audacity has been installed outside the App Store, hence it is asking me if I am sure to open the app. I will click Open, and Audacity will be ready to use. After opening Audacity, you will see the welcome screen. On the welcome screen, you see a video about its latest feature and some links to the manual page. You may explore those to see what is there, I will click OK. We are now seeing the Audacity interface where we will do our audio recording and editing. If you are using editing software for the first time, you will feel it is a lot, but it is super easy to use once you know it. I will guide you in this course and it will become intuitive for you. You can rearrange the tools and buttons. If you mess up the interface while rearranging, you can easily reset to the default interface. Go to Toolbars, and choose Reset Toolbars. Before proceeding to the next lecture, make sure Audacity is installed on your machine. If you are watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, it is part of the Audacity course for beginners. After taking this course, people have successfully published audiobooks on Amazon. You can see the testimonials I received from the course takers. Beginners always need feedback to determine if they are doing things correctly, and people have already felt at home with my teaching style. My personal feedback is available once you enroll in the course. If your goal is to publish an audiobook, or want to do professional voiceover, or want to improve voiceover for your content, or training materials, this Audacity bundle is for you. You will get access to one-click sound better tools in Audacity, even those personalized to your voice recording. I will put links in the description and pinned comments. Take this bundle to get out of the audio guessing game and become confident.